okay this is the worst possible camera angle but please bear with me hi everyone today i will be talking answering <laughs> hi everyone today i will be answering your questions about taking pcmb in classes 11th and 12th but before I start, I just want to give a quick summary about my experience of taking those four subjects. So when I came to class 11th, I wasn't sure if I wanted to take engineering stream or medical stream and I wasn't sure about my future career. So I thought that taking all four subjects would be a good option for me and I did. The other thing was that in my school, you were only allowed to choose between either biology or computer science if you were a science student and I knew for sure that I did not want to take computer science so I, also, I ended up choosing biology for that reason as well yes it was a bit challenging and I talked more about this in my other video and I've linked it down below if you want to check that out as well but um, yes so I'll move on to your questions now a common question that I keep getting asked is that was it difficult and almost all the questions are like a variation of this question so was it difficult to take um, PCMB in class 11th and 12th yes because it is a, a challenging combination and yes it is difficult but so is everything else like even if you take PCM with computer science or PCM with physical education it is gonna be a bit difficult but I will agree taking PCMB is like a slightly higher level of that um, difficulty um, spectrum <laughs> There's a couple things involved in this. So if you want to study just for 12th exams throughout your two years of a higher secondary school, if you want to do well just in your board exams and you're studying just for that, then honestly, it is pretty doable. You can take PCMB and survive and get good grades. But realistically speaking, that almost never happens. Almost every student in 11th and 12th is enrolled in either coaching classes or tuition classes for their entrance exams or other tests or for other activities that they're involved in. So no one studies just for 12th board exams. So when all of those other factors come into play, it is difficult to study for PCMB and get good grade. Now, if you want to just blaze through the subjects and if you just want to pass or get above 80%, then you can you can do it like a lot of my friends they wanted to do well in just the core subjects like they wanted to do well only in physics chemistry math and they were okay with compromising in computer science or they were okay with compromising in their fifth uh, in their fourth subject say biology so if that is something that you want to do then you can still take PCMB now if you want to get really good grades and if you want to get like above 90% in every single subject then it it's kind of difficult because um, all four subjects are hardcore science and all four subjects require practice so if you want to get 90% in all of them then you're going to have to work extra hard and maybe you might end up compromising in other things like in your um, tuition tests or in your entrance exam tests, things like that. Now, I'm not saying that this will happen. I'm just saying that this happened with me and some of my friends. So I will give you an example of that. When I joined 11 Standard, I decided to take PCMB and then I decided to join uh, a coaching center for my JWE preparations. And just to make things more complicated, I decided to prepare for the SAT and apply to a foreign university so that I can do my undergrad abroad. Now, all of this made everything more complicated because I, I found it really difficult to split my time between all of these three things because they are vastly different. I ended up compromising a little bit everywhere so that I could do well in all of those things. So this is something that usually happens with a bunch of kids. I'm not saying that this will happen if you take PCMB. Some kids end up managing really well they can distribute their time and they don't lose their mind when all of this different curriculum is thrown at them but um, if you're a normal person then you will be baffled by all of th these things happening at once but do i regret it i i don't regret it because um, it did end up helping me i changed my mind about my career a lot so it was nice to have 
more options open and it was nice to learn about these subjects just so I could get an idea of what it would be like if I go into the engineering stream or the medical stream but in the end I ended up going in uh, neither of them that's another story and also I could give both NEAT and JWE because I took both of those subjects both math and biology and another thing that I keep getting asked in the comments is that I want to be an engineer but should I take biology or I want to go into a field that is clearly PCM but should I take biology you don't have to take biology it doesn't i don't think it gives you an advantage in any way it's a completely different field pcm has nothing to do with biology if you have a passion for it then you can take it but 11 standard biology is difficult 11 standard biology is very dry it involves a lot of mugging up and 11 standard in general is pretty tough when it comes to all four subjects so again if you don't need to take biology then don't take biology. Take it if you think that it's gonna make life easier for you or if you're an expert in biology and it's a super easy subject for you and you think that you're gonna do well, then go for it. But otherwise, there there isn't a use. Like if all of the other alternatives that your school offers are all difficult or are more difficult than biology, then take biology, but otherwise, <laughs> There's honestly no use in taking biology unless you want to give need or unless you have another um, career option in mind. So one person in the comment asked this question and I also had this question when I was a 10th standard student and the question is that if you want to take software engineering or computer engineering or any other computer related field in the future, do you need to take computer science in classes 11th and 12th? And the answer is absolutely no. You don't need to study computer science if you want to go into the computer field so what most colleges do is that before the college starts they will give you a certain amount of time where you can learn the programming languages and the things that you need to know before your college starts so it's not like you need to study that in classes 11th and 12th so the next question is that is math difficult in class 11th and 12th yes math is difficult because it is a higher level math and it is hardcore math it is obviously more difficult than 10th standard math do not compare 10th standard math with 11th standard math they are very different things that said it's not undoable like if you practice if you stay in touch with the subject then you can definitely do well i know a lot of my friends they did not do well in 10th standard math or they did not have any inclination towards math till 10th standard and in 11th standard and 12th standard they ended up doing well because they practiced and they stayed in touch with the subject and they gave their 100% so they ended up doing pretty well like Eve, I know some commerce students who did so much better in math than some of the science students and the most common argument is that commerce students don't have to study that much and uh, science students have to study other things a lot I'm not going to get into that debate but the point being yes if you give your 100% if you practice then you can do well in math now the problem here is that you have to study other subjects as well as a science student like you have to give a lot of attention to physics and chemistry because there will be plenty of new concepts if you take pcmb and if you take biology biology is so vast in 11th standard you need to give a lot of attention to it and with all of this it's difficult to do well in math sometimes it's not undoable but it's difficult to do well in math let me clarify when i say it's difficult to do well in math i mean that it's difficult to get more than 80 percent or difficult to get more than 90 percent now if you just want to get more than 50 percent then it's pretty doable because sometimes students make this decision where they're willing to compromise in one subject so that they can do really well in the other subjects yes it is pretty it is easy or it is doable to get more than 50 percent in math and pass it requires shit ton of practice and you need to seek help whenever you need it you need to do all the problems in your ncrt textbook or whichever textbook that you use and make sure that your concepts are clear make sure you don't take long breaks from the subject make sure that you um again constantly stay in touch with the subject because the more you do math the better you get at it 
the more you stay away from the subject and you started like all of a sudden or you, if you started near the exam then you are going to have a lot of questions and most probably there won't be teachers around to help you out at that time so it's better to do all these things beforehand i'm saying this as if i did all of these things religiously i did not and i made a lot of mistakes that's why i'm saying all these things to you let's move on to the next question does math help in learning physics or can we understand physics without math math and physics have nothing to do with each other. Let me make that very clear. I also used to think that math will help me understand physics. Math and physics are very different subjects. They have nothing to do with each other in class 11th and 12th. Even if there is a math concept in physics that you did not learn in 12th standard, it is like a five minute concept. Like your teacher can teach that to you or you can ask your friends to explain that to you. You do not need to take two years worth of math so that you can understand five minutes worth of concepts in physics. You don't need to take math to do well in physics. Just l let me summarize it that way. There are some mathematical problems that you will come across in physics and it's just 10th standard math. It's pretty simple. If you understood that, all of that stuff in 10th standard, you can do it in 11th and 12th as well. It's mostly just solving equations and sometimes you will have derivations and derivations are mostly just mugging up. You don't need to really know the concept behind what's going on even though i encourage learning concepts behind stuff but you get what i'm saying you don't need to have 11th and 12th standard math knowledge to do well in 11th and 12th standard physics yes let's move on to the next question i am let me summarize the question this person says that they love math that they're good at it at some point not good at it at other points their future career most probably does not involve math what should they do now i don't know who you are but it feels like that we're best friends who never met in real life because this is like me this is exactly me i i like math but I'm good at it at some parts. I'm not good at it at other parts. I would say I, I'm good at math if I like practice it real hard and if I stay in touch with the subject, but I'm not a math whiz. Like I'm not super talented at math. I'm not a calculator. I can't just, just solve that sum right away. I need some time to get comfortable with what I'm learning and to actually do well in it. So it seems like that you're in the same kind of situation in this case it's like passion versus what is easy i guess i would encourage you to go through the syllabus and to talk to your peers and make sure that what you're taking will actually be of use to you now i understand that um, you really like the subject but uh, the other thing that you have to look at is that sometimes your grades might get compromised or you may not do so well but like i said before if you practice enough and if you do it consistently then you can you can do well now if you love math and if you really want to take it then no one's stopping you they go for it math is a great subject to learn but if you really care about your grades like if you want uh, to get more than 95 percent or more than 90 percent or your overall 12 standard percentage is very important to you and at the same time, you know that you may not do as well in math or that you know that you're going to get less grades in math as compared to other subjects and that it may lower your overall percentage, then it is up to you to decide if that risk is worth taking. And um, biology was also what the heck so before i start i want to give a quick summary about what i fuck so before i start i want to give a quick summary about my laptop doesn't have any charge